about your issues. Um, I want to turn to former Guantanamo prisoner Sami al Hajj, the only journalist to held at the prison. He was held for more than six years without charge. In January 2007, he began a hunger strike there that lasted 438 days until his release on May 2008. I spoke to him uh, in December in Doha, Qatar, where he works for Al Jazeera. He talked about being violently force fed during the hunger strike. They did it, doesn't bring a uh, small to big. They bring a tube that's too big to put up your nose and down into your stomach. When they take it, they take it by by force. So they jerk it out of your nose. Yes, some blood coming. Yes, and many times they did in cleaning the tube. What they feed be the other guys? They come and same thing. They give it to you. By they use the tube that they used to the person they have seated next to you, yes. and then they put it into you, you yes. without cleaning it. Without cleaning, you see the plot and everything. You see the inside, blood. Yes. Did you say when they would take the tube of a man next to you and put it into you, shove it down through your nose into your stomach? Would you say something? Did you ask why they are doing this? Yes, they saw that they told us we want you to break your hunger strike. They tell us directly like that. They ask us to break our hunger strike. They said we never uh, deal with you as the as the detainees until you break your hunger strike. That was former Guantanamo prisoner Sami Hajj. We were speaking in the headquarters of Al Jazeera.